Today, uh, what we're going to be going over is some upper body stretches. And this is going to be, even though a lot of you here are retired and haven't been um, sitting at desks, we still look at phones. So we're looking, we're here, or we're reading books, or we're swiping through the Kindle or the whatever device you may have. We're on the laptop and we're typing. So as I'm as I'm talking about all of that, I just want you to notice the posture. All right. Um, but first off, so we're gonna go over some upper body stretches. And secondly, this we're gonna do uh, take a little pause so we can do a second video, and we're gonna go over stretches for the legs, particularly for those who do a lot of walking and or running, there's muscles that become super tight to the point that other muscles won't even work. So we're gonna work on just stretching some of those muscles out, all right? But going back to what we were talking about with the upper body uh, stretches that we're gonna be doing. So from the front, from this position, all you can see is my head down. But when you're sitting and you're looking at your phone, and then you start typing on your laptop. Notice what happens to my shoulders, okay? My upper back rounds, my head goes forward. Guess what, you're driving in your car. Look at what's happening in the shoulders. Look at what's happening at your neck. And so if we don't start correcting some tightness that's happening through the upper body, there's gonna be some serious neck issues that's gonna happen. There's gonna be you know, potential of a, a widow's peak or rounded shoulders, and that causes a lot of cervical problems in terms of headaches and then your mobility. So when you want to turn to like see, hey, is there a car behind me? It's it's inhibited significantly, so that can increase risk of accidents. And so we're just going to try to work on quick stretches. Won't take you very long. Even if you do them once or twice a day, you'll see a big improvement. So that's what we're going to work on first is those stretches. So what muscles are inhib like inhibited or overactive when we're typing and we're we're all of this, it's our pectoralis muscles, all right? So we need to work on just stretching those out. So there's a couple of different ways that you can do that. And you can we'll show you one seated. So but you you can do this standing as well. It doesn't matter. All I want you to do I'm going to go to a kneeling position here so you can see a little better. Clasp your hands behind your back. No, wait, time out. Hold on. I'm going to just say right now that if you have neck issues, if if you are experiencing any sort of shoulder pain, please go see a professional. All right. And don't overstretch. So if you're feeling if you're doing this and you're like, oh, that does not feel good. Just stop. <laughs> you don't need to push through the stretch. Be like, oh, more pain, more gain. No, not today. No, none of that today, okay? Don't cause injury. Go see a chiropractor or a physical therapist or someone like that, all right? So stretching should feel good. It should feel like, oh, okay, so no pain. Got it? Okay, great. So we're going to go back to clasp those hands behind your back. And all you're going to do is just pull those shoulders back and straighten your arms. That's all you're going to do. And we're just going to hold here. So now this, this is mostly a frontal delt stretch, but it's, it's, did you notice how the shoulders went from here to here into proper posture? That's a good thing. So we're just going to hold here for just a little bit. It may not feel like much of a stretch at all, and that's okay. But what it's doing is it's causing those shoulders to be like, oh yeah, that's, that's where it's supposed to be. Now I remember this posture. The other thing you want to keep keep an eye on, we'll, we'll hang out here for another 10 seconds. The tendency is to do a forward neck. So you want to pull that neck back and try to keep your ear in line with your shoulder. All right, so here's three, two, and one. Perfect. So now we're, if, if you're at your office, and you can't get on the floor, it's okay. <laughs> I'll show you two variations here. But if you can get on the floor, then what I want you to do is called a scorpion stretch. And you're going to lay, lay on the floor, going to extend 
your left arm out to the side, look to the right, and then with your right hand, you're gonna push it, push into the floor with your right hand and twist your body so that your right leg goes over your left and you're able to plant your right leg on the floor. So the side view is gonna look like this. And what this does is it opens up a lot through that chest area. So it should feel good. Um, if again, if this causes pain to your shoulder, like the back of your shoulder or the front of the shoulder, then just come out of it. I'll show you a different stretch you can do standing that shouldn't be as painful. But we'll hang out here for another five, four, three, two, and one. Good, coming back to center. Extend that right arm, look to the left, plant your left hand, and then take your left leg over the top of your right. So you might, you might feel a nice little stretch in that lower back too. That's an added bonus but it definitely helps open up a lot to that frontal delt, deltoid, that front shoulder and pec muscle. Please remember to breathe through these, by the way, because that's always important. <laughs> Breathing's important. Here's five, four, three, two, and one. Good. We're gonna come back to center. What we'll do is push into hands and knees. So. I know if you're at an office or something, you're not gonna be able to, to particularly do this. I'll show you another one from a standing position. But if you're able to go to your hands and knees, we're just gonna do a cat and a cow. So what you'll do is uh, in going into a cow. So you'll let those hips sink, push your tailbone back, looking up at the sky, and you're gonna get a really nice stretch in your abs. So what this does is, when you're seated for a long period of time, your upper ab, okay, go ahead and relax. Just push those hips down and forward, arch through that upper back like a kitty cat. And that's just gonna help relieve some lower back tension that might be there. But what happens when you're seated for a long time, going into a cow again, so you should be in exhaling, or I'm sorry, inhaling into a cow. And now we're gonna exhale into a cat. Good, we'll do that one more time. Um, your upper ab has to work a lot to keep you upright while you're seated. And then one more cat, exhale to a cat. Good, perfect. So now we're gonna go to a standing position if you want. And I'm gonna show you utilizing this little wall here. When you're seated, your upper ab has to do a lot of work to help keep you upright because your lower ab isn't doing anything. So your upper ab does a lot. So that's why I wanted to show you the cat and cow um, stretch just to help that upper ab get a little bit of stretch there. All right, so from a standing position to stretch through your chest, your pectoralis, what you're gonna do is put your forearm on a wall. So hopefully you have a wall handy. You want your whole fore forearm and, and hand on the wall. And all you're going to do is twist away from the wall. So this is gonna be a huge stretch to your pec. All right, so you should feel, you don't want your arm way up here. You want it, um, you know, perpendicular to, to the shoulder there. So you don't want it way down here because that's not gonna get the stretch for you. I'm gonna just keep it right there and twist gently. So you're not trying to take your arm off here. Just a nice gentle stretch. It should feel really good, all right? So here's five, four, three. Again, if you feel any, uh, let's come out of that. If you feel any tingling, your arm is going numb, just come out of it or don't try to twist so hard. So now we gotta get the other side, all right? So you're gonna see your forearm has to be on a wall or else it won't work. So go ahead and put that forearm on a wall and then twist away. So you're just gonna hold that there for 10 seconds and it should feel good. Again, we're trying to open up through that chest. For six, five, four, three, two, and one, good. All right, now what I want you to do for those, since if you're not able to get to a, I'm gonna go back over here, um, you know, a cat cow position, and get on the floor, what I 
what another thing you can do is you're just going to to extend so interlace your hands i'm going to go to a kneeling position so you can see interlace those hands and then push those hands way overhead try to reach those palms to the ceiling you should get a nice big stretch through your core here if you want to add a tiny little lean to the back you can however I, there should be zero pain in that lower back so you don't have to do that lean to the back all right and now if you want to do a little twist to the side you're going to get a really nice stretch through your oblique there again we're not over stretching should not be any pain through your shoulder should feel good i'm going to go to the other side don't forget to breathe there's four three two and one all right good couple more so um i'm gonna turn this way so you can see what's happening a lot of times just so you know why we're doing this stretch a lot of times when we um we're, we do a shoulder shrug we don't even realize it but when you're when you're here when you're texting your shoulders show slowly start to come up and that upper trap just gets angry and tight so what you're we're gonna do is grab your right wrist with your left hand pull to the left now you're going to take your chin to your left clavicle so you're really going to try to drop that right shoulder down and it should be hopefully a really nice stretch and if you don't feel that there we'll show you one other one that might work a little bit better here's five four three just try to and if you don't feel it it's okay to rotate your chin a little bit to your like oh there's that stretch i'm looking for perfect so now go ahead and relax that shake it out if you need to we're going to grab left wrist with right hand pull that to the right and now um take your chin to your right clavicle all right so if you're doing this while standing you can do this seated oh before i forget drop that try to really drive that left shoulder down um if you're doing this standing please make sure you're not overarching through your lower back you should be standing in a neutral position so shoulders over hips belly button driven to that spine here's four three two and one okay go ahead and shake that out so if you did not feel the stretch in the upper trap area where you were is where the stretch should have been then what i want you to do is just no don't worry about your arms and what you're doing relax those shoulders down just like push them down like pull them down if you need to and you're going to take your chin to your clavicle so your chin to your right clavicle use your right hand and gently if you want you don't have to but gently push on the back of your head push it down a little more and you should feel it through that left tr upper trap so the upper trapezius again you don't have to add any as like assistance at your at your head either but sometimes does feel good okay good we're going to come out of that so if any of this is making you dizzy or not nauseous then you're trying too hard you need to go see a chiropractor because <laughs> the neck can affect so many things so please be aware of what's happening and take note so now let's go to the other side we're going to take your, your chin to your left clavicle and you can add some resistance using your left hand try to relax that right arm down pushing like pushing your right shoulder down there's five four three two and one now we got to get your levator scapulae so what the levator scapulae is it's the it's the sisters for those shoulders all right the shoulder raises so in order to to do that we're just going to take your ear to your shoulder so keeping those shoulders back you don't want to be rounded or hunched pull those shoulders back just take your ear to your shoulder if you want to add a little resistance or like push on the side of your head push your ear closer to your shoulder you can you don't have to do that so you should feel a nice stretch in the the, the neck here that goes into that this is a scalene a little bit of levator scapulae a little bit of upper trap good we're going to come back to center and now we'll go to the other side 
you can add assist, resist, a little bit of resistance there if you want. If you don't have to, just please make sure you're pushing that, sh that left shoulder down so you feel a good stretch there. Perfect. I'm going to do one more. It feels amazing. So the levator scapulae gets a lot. So the, there's a lot of underactive muscles, but the levator scapulae gets way overactive. So we're going to try to stretch that out. Now, this is going to get like underneath your shoulder blade area. So all you're going to do is push those palms out, straight, straight arm, drop those shoulders down. So you don't want to be shrugging, drop those shoulders down. We're going to twist, drive in that right shoulder up and pushing that shoulder out. So you should feel a really good stretch right through here if it's tight at all. Should feel really magical. <laughs> Don't forget to breathe. Perfect, we're gonna go to the other side. Oh, there's one more stretch I forgot. We're gonna show you that one and then we'll, then we'll take a little break and go to some lower body stuff. Three, two, and one, okay. So last one here, you're gonna need a table or a desk or a stair railing, something that's about like a uh, belly button height. I'm gonna utilize the back of this chair. It works best if you're standing, if you can stand. All you're going to do, place your hands, palms down, on the back of that chair and your your back needs to be flat so you don't want to be hunched over like this you need to stick those hips out and all you're going to do let me get a little bit closer here there we go straight arms and you're just going to let your upper your head fall through your arms so your it's best if your entire palm is supported on the table like a, a countertop or a table so this is gonna be a really big thoracic stretch here. That middle part of your back should not be causing, but your back has to be super flat. So you don't wanna be rounding in that lower back or else you won't feel it. So stick those hips out, try to straighten your legs. Hopefully you, you might feel a little bit of a hamstring stretch and that's okay. Here's four, three, two, one. Cause if those knees are bent, it's not gonna work correctly. So, okay, hopefully you feel a little looser in that upper body.